Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to math, chapter nine, lesson eight on equal parts. So you saw in the video on equal parts that in order for it to be equal parts, they need to be the same size and the same shape. So when we look at this first shape right here, we can see that they used two of these red trapezoids that are the same shape and the same size in order to make this one shape. They use two of them, one here and one here, two equal parts. Okay, when you look at the next shape, the triangle here, you can see that they've drawn some lines here that would show here's one green triangle, here's another one, and a third one, and a fourth one. Four of these green triangles makes one larger triangle like this. So it is divided into four equal parts. And when you look at this last square here, you can see by these lines drawn here that it would take four of these orange squares in order to make up this bigger square, four equal parts. This one is, this, these are all the same size squares, and these are all the same triangles, same size triangles, same shape, and these are the same size and shape trapezoids to make these shapes. Okay, on the next page, this is just a review of our lesson here. A hole, meaning this whole shape right here. Let me get my pen. Oh, that's a little big. This whole shape right here can be separated into equal parts or equal shares. And you can see that would be one, two, three, four. Okay, my pen is so big, you can't see those numbers. Let me see if I can make that a different size. Okay, and trace this number. So four equal parts. Okay, this whole square is divided into equal parts also. These are both the same size and same shape, but there's only two of them. One, two. So when we look at number one here, how many equal parts are there in this shape? These Are these two right here the same size and same shape? Yes, they are. And there are two of them, aren't there? Look at number two. This circle is divided into equal parts. How many equal parts? Yes, four. Okay, now they want us to draw lines to show the equal parts. Okay, they want us to uh, divide this triangle right here into two equal parts. Now, in order to do that, the, the shapes have to be the same size and the same shape. So if I divide a line right here, now I have a shape over here that is the same shape as this one over here, and they are the same size. So we divided that right here between two equal parts, okay? Now, I'm gonna just draw another triangle over here, and if we drew a line here and divided, would these be equal parts? No, these are not the same shape, are they? That is not equal parts. All right, and then number four, this rectangle here, they want us to divide it into four equal parts. Well, I, there's a couple of different ways that we could do that. One way would be for us to divide it here and then also divide here. Then we have one, two, three, four equal parts. But that's not the only way. Here, let me draw another rectangle and show you that we can also divide it into four equal parts by drawing lines here and here. Okay, yeah, that's not the best. I didn't get that line so that it's as equal, but one, two, three, four equal parts here. I maybe kind of skipped on that one right there. Okay, but that would be another way 
that we could draw four equal parts. So if we talk about math here, how do you know when parts are equal? Hmm. How do we know when the parts are equal? We know they're equal if they are the same size and the same shape. If all of the parts are the same size and the same shape, then they are equal. All right, so it's time for you to do your own work on the next slides.